What's up, y'all? My name is Samantha Bertu, and I work full-time as a software engineer in New York City. And I am passionate about helping people break into tech just like you. The whole idea of programming might sound scary, or you might not even think that is something you can do. But that's not true. Believe me, you are not alone in your journey. Plus, you got me. What is better than that? We are going to take this big, daunting idea of learning how to code and break it down into smaller pieces. Coding is a skill, and just like everything else, skills can be learned. Unfortunately, you are not going to learn this skill overnight. It is going to take some practice. There is a saying by Malcolm Gladwell that it takes 10,000 hours to master a skill. Wow, that's a lot of hours. But to land a job in tech, we are not going to spend that many hours as long as we focus those hours in the right direction. So if you have no programming experience, you are young, you are old, you are any color of the rainbow, it doesn't matter. It is never too late to start. I'm going to walk through some of the best options to get you on the right path to coding success. The internet is full of free resources, probably a little bit more than we actually need. But honestly, that's what makes it so overwhelming to know where to start. I do want to throw in a disclaimer here. I am not going to know what is the best way that you are going to learn, whether that is watching videos, reading, blogs, whatever, but I do know whatever learning style you choose, you need to put, get your hands on a keyboard. Build up this muscle memory of writing code. The skill of coding will not happen if you are not writing code. My YouTube channel is not popping yet. So if you've gotten to my video, you have probably watched five other videos. Finish this video, of course, help a girl out, pick one resource, stick to it, and start learning this life-changing skill. What is even better? I watched all the videos for you and I went through the process of learning how to code myself. I am making money doing what I love. So the first step I recommend doing is making a schedule of when you are going to sit down and learn. Pull out your calendar. Go ahead, I'll wait. Pull out your calendar and start adding coding blocks. I like to study in the evening, so I'll add two and a half hours every day and take one day off. And on the weekends, I can do four hours. Do whatever your schedule fits best, but you wanna do at least 15 hours a week. The idea here is to create a habit and stick to this commitment. The next thing I recommend doing is setting a goal. Getting a job in tech is an amazing goal. We want to make some money, right? But that is not something we can control. There are a lot of outside factors, so I suggest making the goal about something you are passionate about. Learn by doing and solve a problem for yourself. So for me, I like plants. So my goal would be to build a plant website, but that's a big goal and a little vague. We want to make sure that it is something small because it will be way more achievable. A smaller goal would be, I want to build a website where I can display facts about all my plants. And that is something I can accomplish. And we could always build upon that. For instance, now that I have facts about when to water my plants, next I could set up reminders to actually do it. Cause sometimes I'd be forgetting. Actually, let me do that real quick. This concept of having a goal and figuring out how to complete it is called project-based learning. Project-based learning is a teaching method in which students gain knowledge and skills by working for an extended period of time to investigate and respond to authentic, engaging, and complex questions, problems, or challenges. Long story short, you're creating something you love while learning along the way. It's a two-for-one deal. This will help you stay motivated. We want to focus on project-based learning over tutorials. I am by no means saying tutorials are bad. When I first learned a language, I do want tutorial of course, just so I could get the basics. Let's think about this. As a kid, we were never taught to learn this way. 
getting stuck in this tutorial loop. Remember we had this thing called homework growing up? Your teacher would teach you something and you would have to apply what you learn on your own. This way of learning works for a reason. But if you keep doing tutorials over and over, you are more or less following the, the instructor. And at the end, you won't feel a sense of accomplishment because you really didn't learn anything on your own. These skills from tutorials are usually not retained and you just did a tutorial just to do one. So go ahead, take about five minutes, write your goal on a piece of paper and put it in a visible place. Actually, I would love to know what project you are interested in creating and I'm more than happy to point you in the right direction. Feel free to comment below. Even if you came up with no ideas, no problem. Here is a fun list of projects you can build and they will also look great in your portfolio when you start searching for a job. You could build a game to show your competitive side, like tic-tac-toe, rock, paper, scissors, and tons of card games. Or you could create a to-do list so you can check up all the things that you could do today, like coding. Maybe you could build a social media site like Instagram or Twitter. Build an e-commerce site from scratch so you can sell your shoe collection. Oops. The ideas are endless. The last step I would recommend is getting yourself a support system. Whether that is a mentor or a group of friends, you want to find someone to keep you accountable. Coding is not a zero to 100 type of thing. Sometimes you might get blocked on a problem and it's nice to reach out to somebody. What would be really cool is if you can find somebody to work on a project with. This will help with your communication and create a more real world work environment. Oh, and you can start building your network. You can do that by joining the Dev.2 community or the free CodeCamp community or participate in an online hackathon listed on devpost.com. So we talked about setting a schedule, creating a goal based on a project, and getting a support system. 